Hey guys, welcome to another video from Outback Workshop where today I'm going to show you how to upgrade, downgrade and delete both Python and R packages in Anaconda using the Anaconda Navigator. Now I ran into this issue today at work when I was trying to actually downgrade a version of TensorFlow which I was using because on the code that I was running I was calling functions which were now deprecated in the new version uh, 2.0 plus and I had to revert back to a 1.15 version in order for it to work properly. So in order to do that guys, you open up your Anaconda Navigator as I have here. Go to environments. Now I recommend starting a new environment depending on what you're trying to do uh, because it's sometimes, not, not always, but a lot of the time if you try and downgrade or delete packages from the base root, it actually won't give you the apply function which comes up down the bottom right here as you'll see in a moment. So for this example, we'll go into, uh, we'll go into color range determine. So this is some image processing work that I've been working on. So we'll load the packages from there first. Now, as you can see here, we have one for, let's downgrade uh, SQLite, for example. So you can right click on the tick. Now, if you want to delete, you just simply hit mark for removal. Um, if you want to update, mark for update. But the one that requires the most steps is if you want to downgrade. So we'll go to the bottom here. Now you'll see a full list of all the previous and current versions that there have been and what version we're currently on, as you can see by the tick here. So let's say if we want to downgrade it to 3.26, click on that one there. Now, in if you're in base root, this doesn't always come up, this little prompt is what I was referring to before. So it's always good to have a new environment created, which I'll show you how to do that after this. Uh, but yeah, so we'll go apply. And that's pretty much it for how to downgrade. Now this will, uh, Anaconda will run through the dependencies and it will make sure uh, that there is no sort of uh, violations or anything like that so you don't get any errors in the long term. Now if you want to make your own environment like I've done here, you just go to create down the bottom. Uh, we'll call this just simulation 1. And you can actually select what Python version you want from here as well. Uh, so we'll select 3.5, uh, 3.6 actually just for example. Uh, we'll tick for R and we'll just go create. And that's basically it. It will then go through and it'll install all the, the real base sort of modules that you will need. But from there, uh, once you want to um, install any packages that you're after, just search for them up the top here. Uh, make sure you've got this ticked as not installed. And yeah, once you find what one you like, you can uh, click on the actual empty box there and the same little apply um, prompt will come up down the bottom right and you can just click to install that. And yeah, that's basically about it. Yeah, so I hope this uh, video helped you guys and um, you found it useful. You can also do this through ter terminal commands, um, which I am aware of how to do that as well. So if you guys uh, are getting stuck or you're just not using Anaconda and would like for a video to be uploaded, please comment um, down below this video and I'll work on doing that for you. Thanks guys, have a good day.